And you got to keep in mind, he might have went through some troubles along the way throughout the first five games, but it's not how you start. It's how you finish. You're going to see some teams here, mainly some of the superstars that you mentioned, look to finish strong. Citadel, uncontested for Smokey and Swizzy. This is business as usual. Just kind of looting up, getting themselves, waiting for that zone to pop, figure out where their rotation is going to be. Coming down to the wire. Another fight that we do love to see, left, right, and center. Tus and Putrick versus Malabuka and Thomas. Malabuka actually didn't really get any loot on that side, but that doesn't matter. Great shots right out of the gate coming from Thomas. You get to knock onto one. You can see they're slowly but surely moving over towards that slurp truck. Got to be careful, though. Malabuka doesn't really have anything to fight back. That's why he's being so careful. Bait and switching going through. Thomas is trying to mat up. Have any sort of cover so that he can defend himself. They don't know exactly where Putrick is at, but they know he's around the building. And a huge shot from Thomas once again from the red eye. Dropping down the shield. Malabuka's there to finish this one off. It might have taken him to game number six. But better late than never. Moving up the leaderboard for them. They're just trying to get a series point. They've gone down almost every single game of spawn, Jacob. The one game they didn't go down or spawn. The one game they won or spawn. They got a sixth place with nine limbs. These guys, when given a chance to play, are an absolutely elite team. It just hasn't gone their way off spawn today. Hopefully, they can close out things with a top, top performance. One that will shake up some of the standings higher up in the leaderboard. A Reaper hero from Mix Up. Using literally all of his remaining SMG ammo to finish that one out. And that was Misha. We saw him go deep into that last game, pick up a huge amount of points for their position on that leaderboard. Very, very similar to Crazy and Perceive. 196 points so far. They got to be sitting, I do believe, fourth place on the leaderboard coming into this game. But first place. Queezy and Vino, about a 37 point lead over second place. They done so by just solid gameplay left and right. Even when one of them does go down, they're still a hard player to take down. Queezy winning heal offs, Vino getting high on the leaderboard and into that last game as well. And you can see how they're doing it. Queezy is just looting up Kinjitsu crossing all by himself. And Vino, like we said in that last He's just hunting for Surge. Trying to put him and Queasy in the best spot possible going into the mid game. I think what we start to see here in this final game is some chaos divulge, right? The effects of the previous five games, all the consequences start to result in what we see in some of these mid game battles here all around the map desperation from certain teams to try and make this last game worth it free mock a player who we know when he's feeling it can be devastating for any opponent that falls into his crosshair and the same can be said for his teammate but they have to close out this fight here or just opt to run away right with the third party coming in they Decide they don't want to get involved in those problems. They will just back off. And maybe we'll look at that decision at the end of the game and say it was the right one. Chicho and Trulex picking up an Alim in the feed just a moment ago. Let's take a look at how they were able to do that one. Chicho. They were actually being aggressed for returning with big, big shots there. Panics couldn't quite match them. Nicely done. It's easy to find one in Mega City, but finding that other one, if you let him get away, won't be the easiest. Shaco's and Skydune trying to get the full on wipe themselves. But Skydune just playing a little defensive. Wait until they get into the same box. So that's Kylie and Vico, another one of our heavy hitters over towards Slappy Shores. Great fighters here on the EU region overall. Not two opponents I want to fight early in any one of these games. You can see what their plan is. Kylie from the high ground trying to use that ODM here to break through the box, cause some chaos. Allow Vico to slip in a couple of shots. Meanwhile, their opponents are simply trying to disengage. They don't want any of this noise. Yeah, it's been an up and down day for Kylie and Vico here at 
Sappy shores you'd think in a day where they aren't contested on the south side, they'd be able to deliver with some sort of significant result, but it's a lot more complicated than that. Hopefully, though, this can be a learning experience for them, especially with dealing with Surge, which has been a problem for them in some of these games. It's soft and easy for teams, right? When you're fighting off spawn, you get your early Surge out of the way quickly, you have a bit more freedom in the way you play. They clearly have not been prepared enough for that. Got we'll to hit the scrims this week and rethink their plan, rethink their strategy. And the interesting thing about some of these teams coming into this last and final game, you got Queasy and Vino who performed so well in that last week. First place right now, they're fighting for just that ticket directly into the FNCS Major 2 Finals. They want to bypass Surge Week overall and, and sit comfortably, give them an extra week to prepare. For some of these other teams, they're fighting to make their journey that much easier next week. So that way, once again, they don't have to go through Surge Week, go directly to Finals. For some of these teams might be fighting for just the opportunity to get to Surge Week, but for deal, Mr. Savage, 37 points down from Queasy and Benno. They need them to go down early if they want to take that top spot. Oh, they just need to go absolutely ballistic in the end game. Squeezy and Smokey, though. The Citadel, they really don't have to move very far from the Citadel. But you see they're separated right now. They got both of the man-made buildings, and they both built towers, skyscrapers in the sky. So that way they don't have to really worry about Surge. That's been their game plan throughout these six games. Yeah, they control this northeast side of the map. And the zone pulling in that direction. They will have more control than ever, more time than ever. For the science of Maisy. A fight we've seen them in many a time. And one that they've won at times, but unfortunately, on the back foot of this time round, Snazy falls, Podesai has a lot of work to wow. do, and it's Skydoon who takes them down. Skydoon putting in the hard yards in this fight. Let's take a look at that again. What exactly was Skydoon able to do so, so well here? You see the ODM gear creating that space, creating that separation, and a reactive shot. Look at the reflexes there from Skydoon. Even though he didn't have those pieces underneath his control, he immediately just pushed himself into the box. And from one fight to the next, they take down two different teams. And they're the example of what I'm talking about. Due to the point differential between them and Queasy and Venno at the top of the leaderboard, they're not fighting for first. They're fighting for a much better position going into week three finals next week. They don't want to lay it all on the line, surge week or nothing. They want to at least fight for that ticket directly to the FNCS finals. All to play for every single spot matters in the journey. For more placement points or series points, I should say it. Crazy picking up that cash there. Which would be nice because Perceive just took a big chunk of damage, so we'll definitely need the loot from that one. Thomas and Malibuka, I saw it actually picked up another couple of the limbs in the field, so that's why Thomas has three instead of the one from earlier. And they find the cash of their own as well. Completely uncontested. There's nobody even here. Anywhere near him. You can barely see someone in Fatal Fields. Or not Fatal Fields. Oh, I'm going back a couple chapters now. Not Fatal Fields. Frenzy Fields. So the 